In this video, we will show you how to use and to care for your Winston Collectromatic Fryer. Segment 1, Fryer Setup. In this segment, we will go over the required tools for operating your fryer, controller programming, lid and collector gasket installation, collector installation, and the oil fill procedure. The following tools are required to operate your Collectromatic Fryer. You will need an element brush to clean the elements between batches and at the end of the day. The double brush is a more effective brush. A spatula to scrape the fryer pot between fries and at the end of the day. A plugging tool for stirring the oil and seating the collector. A set of gloves to protect your hands from hot oil. A displacer to help remove oil from the collector during filtering and cleanup. You will need a drain hook to help remove the collector and for lowering product and the heat plate into and out of the fryer. Finally, you will need a heat plate to help distribute heat in the lower half of the fryer. Controller programming. It is important that you configure your controller prior to first use. In order to configure your controller, the fryer needs to be plugged into the correct voltage for your specific fryer and the toggle switch needs to be off. Control board should read LO. In order to get into the programming mode, you need to press the program button, then the up button twice, then the down button twice. The controller will go through the settings and end up on PROG. Now press the number 8 button. The controller will display PRCF. Then press enter. The controller will now display 6HD. Using the up or down button, the controller can be set to four head fryer or six head fryer. If you have a six head fryer, the controller must be set to six HD. If you have a four head fryer, it must be set to four HD. Press enter and the control should display PRES. Using the up or down button, the fryer can be set to open fry or pressure fry. If you have an open fryer, the controller should be set to open. If you have a pressure fryer, it should be set to pressure. Press enter and bird should be displayed, followed by 2.75. Using the up or down button, you can select either a 2.5 pound or 2.75 pound chicken size. Press enter and the controller will display TSCL and then FAHR. Using the up or down button, you can select either Fahrenheit or Centigrade. Press enter one last time and the controller will exit the programming mode. After you have configured your controller, you will need to program a channel with the appropriate cooking temperatures and times. You are able to program each channel 1 through 8 with different temperatures and times depending on your frying needs. For this video, we are going to program channel 4. Next, you need to press the program button, then the up button twice, then the down button twice. The controller will go through the settings and end up on PROG. Press the enter button. The controller should display PC1. If it displays PC2, press the number one button to switch back to PC1. Press the enter button and the controller will display H1. Next, using the up and down button, set your first temperature set point and press enter. The controller will display T1, then a time. Using the up and down button, set your first time. This time will be your overall cook time. Press enter and the controller will display either O or P. Use the up and down button to set the fryer to either open or pressure fry for that set point. After setting your initial drop set point, or H1, the Collectromatic Fryer will allow you to adjust temperature and times and pressure settings for six different stages throughout the cook cycle. When setting the time for each stage, your selected time will represent the time left in the cook cycle. At any point, you may select a time of 00, zero and cancel all remaining stages. After you've set your final time of 00, zero, press Enter and the fryer will save your programming and exit the programming mode. With the channel you program still selected, press and hold the check cycle button for about three seconds and confirm that your channel is programmed correctly. 
The controller will display and confirm each set point temperature, time, and whether it is open or pressure. If at any point you have any questions or concerns about programming your Collectromatic Fryer, please contact Winston Customer Care Team. Lid and Collector Gasket Installation To install your lid gasket, first apply a coat of oil to the gasket. Next, using your fingers, find the seam of the gasket. You will want the seam to be in the 6 o'clock position. Starting at the top, place the gasket onto the lid. Next, you will need to install the collector gasket. First, apply a coat of oil to the gasket. Being careful not to overstretch the gasket, pull the gasket onto the collector rim. Collector installation. Place the collector down into the fryer. Using the plugging tool, tap along the bottom of the collector to firmly seat it in place. Next, you will need to tap along the top to ensure that it is firmly seated. Oil fill. Prior to filling your fryer with oil, ensure that the drain valve is in the closed position. Next, you want to fill the fryer with fresh oil. You need to fill the fryer to the minimum fill line. Ensure that you do not overfill the fryer because the oil will expand as it heats up. You will need approximately 64 pounds or 28.8 kilograms for a forehead fryer and 75 pounds or 33.8 kilograms for a six head fryer. Your fryer is now set up to fry. If you have any questions or concerns about setting up your Collectromatic fryer, please contact the Winston customer care team.